welcome back to another Axe Family video. Hope you're doing well. Hope you got a smile on your face because today is a beautiful, beautiful day. It is. Yeah. Uh, we just got done seeing the horses, the wild horses. And if you didn't see that video, check out the previous video. Now we're headed back towards some more cell service. Um, we're looking for a place to camp tonight. And we are stopping here to two reasons. We're going to eat some lunch. We got some salads. And then uh, we're also going to air the tires back up. From here on out, the gravel roads are done, so we're back on pavement. We're going to put the tires back up to, let's see, we had them at 25 PSI for the gravel. And I think we'll go up to 35 for the pavement. We've been running them at 45. Try 35 for a bit. See how that goes. Whoa! On the road again. So some of you know that uh, Taylor uh, has a Young Living essential oil business. We just stopped at one of Young Living's farms where they grow lavender. So um, from what Taylor's told me, Young Living is uh, one of the only companies that owns a majority of all the farms that they get their oils from or they manage uh, the farms very closely that they get the oils from so they kind of oversee the whole process of like when the seed is planted to the plants grown harvested distilled like you know turned into oil and then tested and then so young living provides like a very pure oil here we are, we're at the lavender farm. So they're gonna give us a distillery tour kind of show us around. So that was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got to see the distillation process. Throughout every step, uh, the lady that was giving us the tour, she just kept talking about um, the quality and that they have like the highest level of quality and standards and that if at any point of the process, if the oil doesn't meet that standard, like it's taken out of and they figure out why it's not. They were uh, processing juniper. So that big, that big steaming uh, cylinder that was hanging, that was all juniper wood chips and they like grind the whole tree and then... Press them. They press them down and then they release steam. Um, and so the, it opens up their pores and then lets the oil out and then the oil and the water 
filter down, yeah, the oil and the water begin to separate. <clears throat> and then when the oil reaches a point, it goes into a, another the funnel, funnel yeah. and heads down and then that's where they store it. They filter it even more after mm -hmm. that. And then they test it. And they're saying that, uh, so they have like 300 acres mm -hmm. of, of lavender. lavender here. And before they harvest the plant, they test the lavender every two hours. That was really fascinating. It's cool to see kind of behind the scenes of yeah. your job and you know, you're helping, you're introducing people to these products and you're selling these products, you're te teaching other people how to sell them. And so now we have a little bit better idea of like what's in the product and what went into making uh, mm -hmm. that oil and yeah, they also, here at the Lavender Farm, they also distill juniper, goldenrod, peppermint, clary sage, um, German chamomile. Remember what else? Mm. They had about 10 different oils that they, or plants that they grow here and distill here. Not just lavender, um, but then they have at least 10 other farms across the world where they have these same standards in every single farm, every single distillery. All right, so now we need to figure out what we're doing next because <laughs> we don't know where we're staying tonight. Uh, we'd like to head south a little bit more. So we're going to figure that out. Maybe we should... So Taylor picked out a camp spot for us. She navigated us out here and we're almost there. All right, so we found our camp spot. It's nice, quiet, peaceful, and uh, we're gonna set up camp. If you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button all the way in. And there's a big thumb war going on on YouTube, so push that thumb more button down below. And there's also a little bell that pops up when you push subscribe. So click that so you get notified when we post new videos. And we'll see you later. Hats off to you.